Oh boy. And just when I thought we wouldn't have any more episodes that would leave such a lasting impact on me this season. It's almost as if the MLP writers were saving some of their best material for the very end. Or at least the lessons that seem to stand out the most. I've actually been thinking a lot about how to keep a lasting relationship when you don't seem to share that many similar interests with someone, and lo and behold, just like with Once Upon a Zeppelin not too long ago, now it's the episode Uncommon Bond that gets to whack me over the head with a lesson I really needed to take to heart. Though perhaps I should explain a bit here. When I first saw that one of Sunburst's favorite activities was browsing antique shops for ancient trinkets, I was immediately reminded of my lady. This is easily one of her most favorite activities as well. And I tend to have Starlight's reaction most of the time, trying to keep a happy face while not really knowing what to do with myself. In fact, a lot of this episode reflects a fairly common struggle for not only my lady and I's relationship, but for many other long-lasting relationships as well. How to build a closer bond when you struggle to find common interests. And as this story shows, there may not always be a clear answer. I actually really appreciate how the MLP staff approach this particular topic because it wasn't about bringing back what worked in the past. And believe me, there are countless people out there who would love to be able to do what Starlight is attempting here one way or another. Rather, it's finding creative new ways to appreciate the activities you know your significant other enjoys. Though Uncommon Bond goes well beyond presenting a worthwhile lesson, Bringing back both Trixie and Maud Pie into the mix was a nice touch, while allowing further emphasis on just how isolated Starlight felt from her full hood friend. Plus, there were more than a few opportunities for entertaining comedy and even a relatively short return of adorkable Twilight. Huh, I guess it is adorable. <laughs> yes, that is most certainly adorable. But can we talk about how surprising it was that the writers decided to reintroduce the mirror pool back into the series? I suspect it won't play a role anytime soon, but even just the way Starlight was talking about using it so carelessly? Once again, it's a staple of her character that she wants to use magic as a means of solving her problems without really thinking too hard about the long-term consequences. Which shows up again a bit later with that... I want to say, age spell? Because honestly, I'm not sure how much I really want to think about the implications of something like this being used so carelessly. But the motivations behind Starlight's actions here are, once again, very commonplace. Wanting to recapture the best parts of a relationship by recreating moments from long ago. And as much as we really want to hold on to that nostalgia, especially with the people we care about most of all. I really love how this episode portrays the struggles that come with time. Because change is inevitable. Growth is optional. And as much as I would rather not admit it at times, we can't always rely on using the same methods and activities to keep our relationships alive and well. Our interests and hobbies will develop and adapt over the years. And if you want to keep those you care about most close to you, then much like with what's shown with Starlight and Sunburst here, you will likely have to learn to appreciate spending time doing the things you know your significant other enjoys doing, even when you may not have anywhere near the same level of interest. And... While that may be very hard for a lot of us to accept, I love how Uncommon Bond actually does provide a bit of an out-of-the-box solution, finding a creative new way to appreciate that activity alongside your significant other. It's a very clever way of presenting a conflict for young children to understand, and yet will still be very relevant for adults. And... Yes, this was something I needed to be reminded of as well. I hope more than a few of you out there can take such a lesson to heart. And as a final note, 
I was just a bit curious as to why they were focusing so much dialogue on an unopened barrel earlier on in the episode. And sure enough, with that fade-out on a shining book at the end, it is quite obviously going to lead into the season finale. So kudos to the writers for not only bringing out such a poignant lesson that brought even more development to some of the main characters, but also managing to center the plot around the reveal of a crucial item which will lead into an even greater story yet to come. What do you think, though? Was the struggle between Starlight and Sunburst something that you've gone through before? What do you suppose this ending fade-out might be leading into for the season finale? I would like to hear your thoughts on Uncommon Bond, and here's hoping for even more fantastic entries from MLP that leave such a lasting impact on the viewer. I know that I'll be coming back to this episode whenever I need to be reminded about some of the more worthwhile aspects of building a long-term relationship. I am Dr. Wolf, and I look forward to hearing from you.